Maxim's engineering unit definition features can save you countless hours that would otherwise be spent decoding raw data. Maxim includes several definition sets when you purchase the product, including ERINC 429, ERINC 708, CSDB, and Digital I.O. You may also purchase the ERINC 629 definition set for an additional fee. In addition, you are free to make your own definition sets for any protocol supported. Once the definition file is saved, it can be reused on multiple projects and can be updated or merged with other files at any time. To open an existing definition set, click on the Definitions button from the main Maxim toolbar. Then click on the folder icon. Navigate to the definition files and select a definition set that you wish to use. The definitions in Maxim require the use of a project. It is good practice to move needed definition sets into your project before editing. Click on Project and select Add to Project. You can link the existing file or make a copy of the file in your new project. If the installed definition is not backed up, you should copy the file to avoid making changes to the original. Once the file is added, you can safely make any changes you wish. To create a new definition file, click on the Definition Editor and then select New File. Select one of the protocols and click OK. Name your equipment type and then you can add messages of various types to your definition set. For each message, you can also add additional fields. For each field, you can set parameters such as field type, units, least significant bit, length, and scale. When you are finished, click Save and then add the file to your project. To merge definitions between files, you need to have two different definition files open and they both must be added to your project. Now you can copy and paste or you can drag and drop sections from one file to the other. You can use this method to create a superset definition that contains all the words of any given protocol. To capture or send data in engineering units, the receiver or transmitter being used must have the equipment ID field set. Open devices and go to the module being used. Select the receiver being used and then set the equipment ID. Only equipment types from the definition files in your project will be available. Now when you record with this device, the data will be decoded for you automatically.